Hi, I am Philippine Islands Adventure. My name is Milo. Today I'm going to show you uh, filling up says that are not doing too well. Uh, like I said, in the winter I usually lose some of them, but not that much. Sometimes two or one or two. But uh, the reason for that is because it's really, really cold here in the uh, state of Washington. Therefore, I need to. Uh, I need to decrease my watering system and I always mention that do not overwater do not overwater and look what happened but anyway uh, because it doesn't the water doesn't dry out quickly in the winter it actually stay there it soaks in there and so regardless of how warm um, the temperature here in the motorhome um, not every area is warm so therefore it gets really cold especially when I put my plants right on the glass out or right on the window where the cold uh, hits you know the cold comes in and it's really cold so if I water it too much and then the plants will drown and die all right so let me show you first off I could not find my um, my earphone so I'm not using any earphone right now and I'm yelling like really loud here uh, in order for you guys to hear me so anyway okay, so this is the orchid that I was talking about that um, it's getting close to dying and as you can tell the leaves are turning yellow and um, there is an area here in this part where it is rotting see that guys it is right 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 over here it is starting to rot so when I peeled, there was leaf in there and I took it off because it was turning uh, dark yellow and it looks like there's some sort of infection. And what happened with that is that overwatering. And uh, if you can see on top where all the mejas are, the sphagnum moss and uh, coconut husk chips, it looks really, really dry, but underneath it is really, really wet. So what I'll do is I'll just leave it alone right now. I'm not going to repot it or anything like that because I still have this really nice, healthy air roots. See, these are air roots right here and they're really nice and healthy. So if I just keep that moist, this one right here, by soaking it into a, into a wet paper towel, this might survive. But I cannot water the plant anymore. Even though it's really light right now, and it needs water but I'm not going to do that so what I will do is I'll get me a paper towel right here uh, soak it in water and then also um, put it cover the air roots that way the plants will not uh, get dehydrated completely so I'm losing it's if you can see it's not that green it's almost yellow so I'm gonna lose this flat this leaves right here I'm gonna lose this one and hopefully that uh, it will survive. See, it's got this new leaf. Hopefully it will survive. And that's what I, that's all I can do. And the other thing that I need to do is uh, continue to clean this part right here, that part, continue, see, can you guys tell? It's really wet and rotten. Uh, I will continue to watch it and see what I can do. And first, the second thing I'll do, what I'll do is, uh, Put cinnamon, ground cinnamon in there to stop the infection to it, so it'll dry it out. Because if I don't do that, it will stay wet and also the plant will start, will continue to rot. So I will go ahead and put a cinnamon, ground cinnamon in, in there right now. It really, really looks dehydrated right now, and um, but it's not because it's wet underneath. So what I'll do is I have this uh, ground cinnamon right here. This is my ground cinnamon. And then I will put it right here where the infection, you know, where the, where it's infected right here. Grab me a Q-tips and start rubbing uh, ground cinnamon in there, okay? It is right, right here. It is right over here, guys, right here. This part. See my finger? That part right here is really soft and it's really, really wet. So here's my ground cinnamon right here. See the ground cinnamon, I put it on the lid. And then here's my Q-tips. My Q-tips right here. So what I will do is I'll dip this in a little bit of water. That way the cinnamon will stick in there. 
So I will dip it in here in the cinnamon and as much as you can. Just grab cinnamon as much as you can. It is not going to hurt the plant. So here we go. Put it right here. The infection is spreading really fast, guys. So I just noticed that today when I was watering my plants, I noticed the infection is spreading really fast. And um, so I just put as much as I can um, about, it covers the whole area where the infection started. And I'm hoping that it will fix it. I will do an update after and see how these plants will go from there, okay? So we knew, I knew that this leaf is going to come off pretty soon. Because it's really, really yellow. See how yellow it is? Um, I know, and the infection is all the way around this area now. So usually when it does that, the whole thing is going to come off. The whole thing will rot. Because it starts at the bottom right here. The infection doesn't start at the top. It starts here at the bottom when we do overwater them. So what I'll do, I'll just put cinnamon all around the plants so that the infection uh, will not spread all over the place. And I can see um, how bad it is right down here. It is really, really bad. It is really, really bad right this area here. So I'm going to get some more cinnamon because that's not enough. So I'm just going to use all of these in here. Like I said, it's not going to, it's not going to hurt the plant. It's actually going to help the plant grow. And also a plant like cinnamon. It's a natural, natural way of healing. And I hope that this plant will live. I really do. Um, that is the reason why, like, in the winter, I don't like this clay pot. Because clay pot also soak water in there. And uh, that's why I didn't plant a lot of it in a clay pot. This is a, this is a clay pot right here. I don't like using that in the winter. But, you know, I have so many of them that it's already planted in a clay pot. And I don't have the time to repot them. So there you go. And I just want to cover all this area here with cinnamon. And you can do this to actually any orchids. When you see some kind of infection in there, cover it with cinnamon. And what it does is it dries it out. It's like a medicine to the orchids. It dries it out and it doesn't spread the infection. Somehow this one, I, need, I did not see it right away. This is why the infection is so bad right now. Um, and I usually the first thing, the sign that you'll see when the orchids is not healthy is the yellow leaves. They start turning yellow. It seems like it's really soft right here at the bottom. And that, that's not a good sign, guys. It really is not a good sign. So put... Um, you need to put the ground cinnamon as high as it can be and cover all that infected area. So, there you go. Some people pour cinnamon in there. I've seen people pour cinnamon. Okay. Okay, it's time for me to um, soak this paper towel right here. I'm going to soak it in with water and then cover the air roots. We'll keep water into the plant so I don't, I don't want to water the media. So I'm just going to soak this into water and, um, and then cover, put it on top of the air roots. with it, my, the, or the leaf, the, the uh, roots. So 
each time I don't have to uh, remove the paper towel I can just pour water in there a little bit at a time to stay wet like that like this so that's what I will do with my air roots next time and like that so and that's what I will do I should cover it with that so this is what I will do just wet it and then just cover the piece that's sticking out there you are there's actually two in there use I usually spray them you know I have a spray bottle but these are so close to the plants that I don't want any water gets inside the crown here because then I will have a really big problem then so that should be okay now this one if you can see it's turning green see when it's when it's covered with um, wet paper towel it turning green when it's really dry then it's really gray see how gray it is and but else we can I can do for this plants when it start rotting like that but I know that I tried and before it always worked for me but we'll see next time so we just cross our finger I feel really bad about this plant because it's getting ready to bloom see see the flower see the buds right there it's getting ready to bloom and um, when this one start rotting away or die then the flower is gonna go real soon really quick and it hasn't opened yet so and that's why I like this plant because uh, it's the bud has been in there for months right here see it's been in there for a long time now and it only it only have three three this time so usually there's a lot but um, for some reason it didn't put out a lot of buds so we'll see we'll see how that goes right okay guys I have another one right here another orchids and um, this one is really bad see the leaf this leaf right here has to come off because it's causing infection it's all infected right now and it's a, gonna affect the plant right here so I'm gonna take this off and also I'm gonna trim this one here because see how rotten it is right here I don't want the whole leaf to rot um, and then it will affect the whole plants and the best part about this plant is that it's not dying it's just the leaf is yellow because it's been that way for a long time now and I haven't cut it yet so what I'll do is you'll see how I'm gonna do it now okay so I have to be very careful in taking this off because there's that root right here and I don't want that to break so what I'll do is I just split it right here and then there you go it just came off just like that and then I'm gonna peel this one right here peel that off because it might rot and it might cause infection there you go that's done there you go it's done and uh, usually I put uh, cinnamon, um, not cinnamon, but I usually put um, peroxide in there. I have to find it and put some peroxide in there, okay? Hold on, I'll do okay, that. I got it all sprayed and clean. And so now the next part is to trim this one right here. The rest, what I'm gonna do is to trim this one in there and then get me a paper towel right here, soak it in water, and then cover the air roots that I have here, okay? And that's what I will do because this one uh, is really dry right now, but I'm not gonna water that much in there. And if I stick my finger inside, I should be able to feel it to see if it's really, really dry. And it is really, really, yeah, it's really, really dry. So what I'll do is I'll water in here just very little, and also soak this with water and then cover the air roots but for now what I will do is I will cut this part right here 
and I'm gonna show you how it's done, okay? So before I could use the alcohol, I mean the scissors right here, is I need to sterilize it first. That way, if it, I have this gauge, so soak it in alcohol. And then wipe the all the scissors with it so it doesn't cause any more infection every time you use it for a different plant you got to wipe it because so it doesn't spread whatever the disease the orchids has <laughs> so it doesn't spread from uh, one orchid to the other right okay so what I will do is go ahead and cut the leaves right here just this one just get rid of these here just cut it just like that. Um, that way it doesn't give me any more problem. There we go. Right here. See, just cut it like that. And I just wipe this for the next. Still wet from alcohol for the next one. If you don't have alcohol, you can heat this in the stove, put it in the stove like that until it heats up and it just kills the germ. So that's what it is. Now, next, see we have this open wound. Oh, so the orchids has this open wound and then I have to cover that with cinnamon. There's my cinnamon. And I just put it right here. And this one I can use my finger. Use my finger and put cinnamon in there. So I'm gonna cut it because it's gonna. See, this is what I do, and I I apply it to the uh, where I cut the the leaf. You have to do this so it doesn't the the leaf doesn't rot and it continue to rot all the way to the plant. And here, that's it. And cover as much as you can. You can tell when it's not covered because it's you can see the opening. Watering system is not until Sunday, but this one is really dry. So I'm gonna water a little bit right here. I'm gonna use this uh, to cover the air roots right here, right here in this area. So I'm gonna pour water right here, and then I'm gonna cover my air roots with it. I might get a lot of thumbs down down there, but you know what? Thumbs down is gone anyway, so it doesn't really matter. You know, um, um, YouTube is slowly uh, pushing it out there to get rid of the thumbs down count. Just the count. The thumbs down is still there, but just the count. And only the owner of the channel can see the thumbs down count. But the rest of them, they can't see it. So, okay, there you go. Okay, I noticed, I noticed that there's a black root right here. I have no idea why it's black, but that's how it is. You know, I'm not the only one that has a plant with black roots. I mean, orchids with black roots. I've seen some channels with, uh, I have lots of, uh, friends that are orchids grower and I watch we all exchange information so I'm just gonna cover that area too but I'm not gonna water it all the time because I don't want it I don't want the root to rot so only when it's dry you know this one will dry in like in like five or six hours this towel is gonna dry anyway so um, but like I said I just water it I don't have to remove the towel anymore I'm just gonna leave it there when I need to, I just need to water it just like that, and then it will be it, and that would be done right there. So this one, this plant is done. Okay. Amazing about this plant is surprise. Look at this. There, it is so amazing. Look how beautiful that bud is, and it's gonna put out any bloom time it's gonna take a while for it to open but it will open okay 
and yes it will open what is that okay so anyway that will open and uh it's got one two three four five six about six six buds so that's not bad and a lot of my orchids i have not lost any buds at all so i'm very lucky right now and usually they start falling off before it evens open but this plant somehow it's healthy you know that's why it, it's uh, the plant is able to keep all the buds so that's the most amazing okay plant. I have one more guys I have one more orchids that is turning yellow um, usually the other reason why they're turning yellow is because my hair is getting really long um, it's because um, the leaves is so old you know and that is the reason why they turn yellow sometimes and uh, uh, they were like uh, old leaves you know leaves doesn't just fall out from especially this type of plants Philanopsis orchids it doesn't just fall out uh, unless they're really really old they're infected and they're starting to rot and over watered and over fertilized uh, those are the reason why they would go turn they would turn yellow and the one that's too old is because it's part of their leaves when they were baby when they were a baby or kids because you can tell when uh, because the leaves are really small and I'll show you why I'll show you what I mean and this one right here look at that see it's got this picture again you know that holds the water right here when I water them and this one, the root is coming down, right that, look at that. It's still good, the root is good, it's not dead. Um, there you go. And the roots in this one is pretty amazing. It's growing and the coconut has chips. And look at that healthy root, guys. Isn't that really, really amazing? Look at that root right here. It's still moist, that means I don't need to water it because it's still green. When it's still green, you don't need to water it. Only when they're gray. Okay? I got distracted. My my iPad. I'm using my iPad right now to video this. And um, here we go, right here. But anyway, so we're talking about green roots. You know, how do you keep them green? Um, by keeping it moist. That's it. Not over water. Just moist. See all that? They're really, really healthy roots. And... Um, Yes, and it is growing on a coconut has chips and a little bit of perlite. No, a little bit of uh, moss, as sphagnum moss. I also put uh, eggshells, crushed eggshells in there. A little bit, just a little bit, not too much. Uh, see right there, like that. Really, really nice and healthy. Look at that right here. Isn't that amazing? So when it's green, that means it's still moist. So you don't want to water it when it's green. And, uh, and I'm going to show you what it looks like right here at the bottoms. I mean, right here, see? Look at that. It's dry in here, but that's okay because the roots is down here and it's still moist. You don't want to water it right there. You can spray it if you have a water spray, just a little bit of spray, just to keep this moist right here. But again, if you look at this roots right here, it's, it's all the way down here. And it's right here. And you don't need to water it. It's still good. Okay? So there we go. That one is good. Okay, this one has a yellow leaf, okay? It's turning yellow right here. And I can tell you why. Because, see how close that yellow uh, leaf is to the, to the media right here? So every time I water, the water will get stuck in there. So that is the reason why this one is turning yellow. So uh, pretty soon this is just gonna fall out and I'm not gonna worry about it I'm not gonna take it out right now because really in reality this is just will fall out uh, Because it gets wet when I water it right here That's the other thing that can cause infection, but I looked at this plant and I don't see any uh, Abnormality in there. I don't see anything that will cause any infection but that is the reason why they're yellow because it's probably get watered a lot and it stays moist and sometimes it can cause any infection but I'm gonna try to avoid watering that area there so it doesn't get it doesn't hold water because as you can tell it's really dehydrated right now this one but it will fall up so fall off and 
I'm not worried about it right now. So it looks really cool. I just want to show it to you. And uh, yes, this one is green. It's got a very, a really big leaf right here. A really, really, I like to shine my orchid's leaves. I like to shine them. Cause I like to, I like to see it when it shines. And the leaves is really, really firm. Look at that. See, it's really, really firm. And that means it's healthy. And here's another leaf that's really, really firm too right here it's got a little burn but that's all right this because when you buy new plants at the store and you bring it home you're bringing all kinds of uh, bugs or snail or something with it so you want to separate that plant away from the plants from your plants at home you don't want to mix it up together because you never know what they will bring in you want to isolate them at least for at least two weeks that's what I do I isolate it for two weeks before I mix them up with them because if there's any mealybugs or any things in there you can tell because they'll be eating the leaves and they'll have holes in there I don't have any holes on my plants that means I don't have any any snails any slugs in here or anything like that this one just burns so I'm not worried about that it will go away so anyway yeah so this one is doing really good um, I'm not worried about this plant because it has this amazing leaves and it's uh, I don't have any uh, I don't see any new leaves growing in there but it looks really healthy and I love it and I love this piece right here I made this right here I put holes in there so it's like a DIY and it's really amazing and I love it okay I could not find any bigger jars that's plastic like this to put this plant in there because if I don't it will fall see how narrow it is right here at the bottom <laughs> see how small it is it will fall it won't stand up alone it has to be on something okay so what I've been using uh, with the mealybugs as well is that uh, because like I said you cannot avoid it especially in the winter it will be here I don't have any problem in summer at all just in the winter when it start you know I don't know I don't know if the eggs hibernate and they start growing again I, I have no idea but anyway so I have this alcohol it's 70% alcohol and I put a little bit of it in uh, right here in the lid and then I have this um, I have this q-tip so I kind of kind of point it out and then I put it a little bit right here some people mix this up with water you can but I've been using it this way for so many years now and I haven't had any problem with them see right there see the mealybugs where is it see the mealybugs right there that's made that's pretty big so I'm gonna clean that up with the q-tips that has alcohol in it I'll clean that up that way it doesn't come back anymore there we go and then wipe where the mealybug was staying because there are probably some eggs in there and so that's what I do and then I have this and I just put it right here usually um, right here where this little clips right here that's where they stay because they stick together they hide look at that flower look at that buds right here one two three four five six probably oh about seven or eight uh, buds right here and look at that isn't that amazing that's gonna be a dark dark maroon flower and you can tell the maroon and also it's a dark maroon but anyway and I don't see any more bugs in here but uh, the mealy bugs just will really stay right here and right there at the end or right there they stay right there they have those they like this young soft growth they like to eat them they like to chew on them and if you don't uh, clean it up on time uh, you might lose the leaves or you might lose the flower so this one I can see that there are some right here see right there you see that fuzzy see that fuzzy right there those are mealybugs and what I do with that is uh, is what I do is I clean it up with my alcohol like that um, usually people soak um, the alcohol and water they mix them up like um, So much for uh, watching and I hope you like this video and I hope it will um, help you for those who are beginners and 
uh, starting to grow orchids or raise orchids. And I uh, just want to thank you so much for um, watching. And um, like I said, I hope that this one helps. And if you have any questions, just uh, leave comments in there and I will do the best I can to answer all of them. And uh, like I said, I've been growing orchids for so many years now. It started when I was growing up with my mom. And uh, I know how to grow them. I don't read a lot of books, but I just know how to grow them. And so based on my experience, and that's what I do here. And everything that you see here, it's done uh, the way I wanted it done in my own environment. Now, every different place is a different environment. You don't have to do everything that I do what I do here because we do we have different environment our weather environment our temperature humidity environment is totally different so I just want to thank you guys for uh, being here there and if you have any questions just uh, don't hesitate to leave comments alright so thank you so much guys uh, take care and God bless you.